Imagine waking up to the sound of waves, enjoying world-class cuisine, and living comfortably on your retirement savings. Both Thailand and the Philippines offer these experiences, but in very different ways. Let's explore how these two countries stack up for retirees. Choosing between Thailand and the Philippines for your retirement isn't just about picking a beautiful beach. It's about finding a place where you can truly thrive in your golden years. The right choice can mean the difference between a retirement filled with adventure and cultural richness, or one plagued by frustration and regret. In this video, we're going to compare these two tropical paradises across key areas that matter most to retirees. From language barriers to healthcare systems, FEF, ROM cost of living to visa processes, we'll break it all down. By the end, you'll have a clear picture of which country might be your ideal retirement destination. Are you ready to discover your perfect paradise? When it comes to retiring abroad, communication and cultural understanding can make or break your experience. Let's explore how Thailand and the Philippines stack up in these crucial areas. First, let's talk language. If you're an English speaker, the Philippines has a clear advantage. English is an official language here, alongside Filipino. This means you'll find it much easier to navigate daily life, from shopping to dealing with government offices. You won't need to struggle with Google Translate every time you want to order a meal or ask for directions. In Thailand, while English is widely used in tourist areas, it's not an official language. Thai is the primary language, and outside major cities or tourist hotspots, you might find yourself facing significant language barriers. Learning Thai can be challenging, with its tonal system and unique alphabet. However, many expats find that picking up basic Thai enhances their experience and helps them connect with locals. But language is just one piece of the puzzle. Let's dive into the cultural fabric of these two nations. Thailand is deeply influenced by Buddhism, which shapes many aspects of daily life. This Buddhist influence fosters a culture of self-control, non-confrontation, and respect. You'll notice this in the way Thai people interact, their emphasis on politeness, and their approach to conflict resolution. One expat shared, Thai people are generally gracious and welcoming. They are extraordinarily tolerant. On the other hand, the Philippines has a predominantly Catholic heritage. This creates a culture rich in emotions and expressions, often centered around family and community. Filipinos are known for their warmth and hospitality, often welcoming strangers with open arms. As one expatriate noted, the Filipinos are such a happy, family-oriented culture, and I cannot believe how friendly our neighbors are. These cultural differences can significantly impact your day-to-day -day life as a retiree. In Thailand, you might find a more serene, laid-back atmosphere. The Buddhist emphasis on mindfulness and inner peace could be appealing. If you're looking for a retirement filled with tranquility and self-reflection, in contrast, the Philippines offers a more vibrant, expressive culture. If you thrive on social interactions and enjoy being part of a close-knit community, you might find yourself right at home here. The strong emphasis on family and community could be particularly comforting for retirees who want to build new social connections. But it's not just about the overarching cultural themes. Both countries have unique customs and social norms that can take some getting used to. In Thailand, for example, you'll need to be mindful of the importance of saving face and showing respect to elders and authority figures. The concept of Sanuk, finding enjoyment in everything you do, is also central to Thai culture. In the Philippines, you'll encounter the concept of Pakikisama, the value of smooth interpersonal relationships and getting along with others. You might also need to adjust to Filipino time, which often means events start later than scheduled. So, which culture resonates more with your lifestyle? Do you prefer the serene, mindful approach of Buddhist Thailand or the warm, family-oriented culture of the Catholic Philippines? When it comes to friendliness and hospitality, both countries shine, but in different ways. Thai people are known for their welcoming smiles and gracious manners, earning Thailand the nickname Land of Smiles. However, some expats find that forming deep friendships with Thais can take time. Filipinos, on the other hand, are renowned for their open and warm hospitality. You might find yourself quickly adopted into local social circles, invited to family gatherings, and treated like a long-lost friend. This can be a huge plus for retirees looking to build a new social network. Now that we've explored the language and cultural aspects of Thailand and the Philippines, let's dive into two crucial factors that can make or break your retirement experience. Beaches and cost of living. After all, what's the point of retiring in paradise if you can't enjoy the sun and sand without breaking the bank? Let's start with the beaches. The Philippines is a beach lover's dream, 
boasting over 7,000 islands. That's right, 7,000. Imagine the possibilities. From the powdery white sands of Boracay to the hidden coves of Palawan, you'll never run out of new shorelines to explore. Each island offers a unique experience. Whether you're looking for bustling beach towns or secluded tropical getaways, Thailand, on the other hand, is known for its developed coastal areas. While it may not have as many islands as the Philippines, Thailand's beaches are nothing short of spectacular. Places like Phuket and Koh Samui offer a perfect blend of natural beauty and modern amenities. You'll find world-class resorts, vibrant nightlife, and excellent infrastructure right next to pristine beaches. Picture this. On one side of your screen, you see the crystal clear waters and limestone cliffs of El Nido in the Philippines. On the other, the iconic long-tailed boats and towering cast formations of Rayleigh Beach in Thailand. Both beautiful, both unique. Which one calls to you? But let's face it, a beach paradise isn't much use if you can't afford to live there. So how do these countries compare when it comes to cost of living? Overall, the Philippines is about 10% cheaper than Thailand. That might not sound like much, but when you're living on a fixed income, every bit counts. The real kicker? Rent prices in the Philippines are about 30% lower than in Thailand. That's a significant difference that could mean the difference between a comfortable beachfront condo and a cramped apartment further inland. Let's break it down with some real numbers. In Bangkok, you might find your living expenses to be around 14% higher than in Manila. An expat living in Thailand described it this way. Thailand is like a spicy pad thai, where you get more flavor for your buck, but you may end up paying a bit more for that prime seat at the restaurant. Contrast that with the Philippines, which another expat likened to a delicious Halo Halo dessert where the rent is as sweet as the dessert, but the overall cost of living might leave you craving for more. In other words, while housing is cheaper, other expenses might eat into those savings. To give you a clearer picture, let's look at a hypothetical budget breakdown for each country. We'll assume a comfortable but not extravagant lifestyle for a single retiree in Thailand. Rent one bedroom apartment in city center, $500. Utilities, $70. Food and groceries, $300. Healthcare, $100. Entertainment and MIA C, $300. Total, $1,270 per month. In the Philippines, rent, one bedroom apartment in city center, $350. Utilities, $80. Food and groceries, $250. Healthcare, $80. Entertainment and Miss C, $250. Total, $1,010 per month. As you can see, the Philippines comes out cheaper, primarily due to lower rent costs. However, it's important to note that these are averages, and costs can vary significantly depending on your specific location and lifestyle choices. So, which country offers the best balance of beach life and affordability? Well, that depends on what you value most. If you're all about variety and want to explore thousands of different beaches without breaking the bank, the Philippines might be your ideal choice. You'll have more money left over for island hopping adventures and trying out local delicacies like adobo and sinigang. On the other hand, if you prefer a more developed infrastructure and are willing to pay a bit more for convenience and amenities, Thailand could be the way to go. Your baht might not stretch quite as far, but you'll have access to world-class beaches with all the comforts of home just a stone's throw away. Now that we've explored the beaches and budgets, let's turn our attention to some critical factors that can make or break your retirement experience. Health, safety, and infrastructure. These are the pillars of comfort that can significantly impact your quality of life in your golden years. Let's start with healthcare. When it comes to medical facilities, Thailand has a clear advantage. With 44 hospitals ranked in the top 100 in Southeast Asia, compared to just four in the Philippines, Thailand offers a wider range of high quality healthcare options. This difference is reflected in their healthcare indexes, with Thailand scoring 77.9 and the Philippines at 67.8. But it's not just about the numbers. Many private hospitals in Thailand match Western standards, boasting advanced medical technology and English-speaking doctors. This can be a huge relief for expats who might be nervous about seeking medical care in a foreign country. One expat shared their experience saying, the public hospital options in Thailand are nothing like the standards in the US, but many expats prefer private healthcare for better service. 
In contrast, while major cities in the Philippines have quality hospitals, rural areas often lack advanced medical facilities. This disparity can be a concern for retirees who prefer living away from urban centers. As one expat in the Philippines noted, you will need to have someone with you to take care of you if you have to spend time in a hospital. This highlights the importance of having a support system or considering additional health insurance when retiring in the Philippines. Now let's talk about safety. While both countries are generally considered safe for expats, there are some differences to consider. According to the Global Peace Index, Thailand ranks 103rd out of 163 countries. While the Philippines comes in at 125th, this suggests that Thailand is generally considered safer overall. Looking at crime rates, Thailand's crime index is 38.37, which is classified as low. The Philippines, on the other hand, has a slightly higher crime index of 42.71, considered moderate. While these numbers don't tell the whole story, they do give us a general idea of the safety landscape in both countries. When it comes to infrastructure, Thailand again has an edge. Let's look at internet speeds, for example. Thailand boasts an average fixed broadband speed of 203 megabytes per second, more than double the Philippines' 90 megabytes per second. For mobile internet, Thailand ranks 53rd globally with 40 megabytes per second, while the Philippines is at 79th place with 24 megabytes per second. But it's not just about internet speeds. Thailand's overall public infrastructure including transportation systems and international airports, is generally rated higher than that of the Philippines. This can make a big difference in your day-to-day -day life, especially if you plan to travel frequently or rely on public transportation. Now let's talk about visas, a crucial consideration for any retiree looking to settle abroad. Interestingly, this is an area where the Philippines might have an advantage. The Philippines offers a special resident retirees visa that allows for indefinite stays. This can be a huge plus for retirees looking for long-term stability. Thailand's visa options for retirees, while available, are more complicated. They often require financial proof and specific applications, which can be a bit of a headache for some retirees. However, many expats find that the benefits of living in Thailand outweigh these bureaucratic challenges. So, what does all this mean for you as a potential retiree? Well, if top-notch healthcare and modern infrastructure are high on your priority list, Thailand might be the better choice. Its superior healthcare system, lower crime rates, and more developed infrastructure could provide a higher overall quality of life. On the other hand, if you're looking for a more straightforward visa process and don't mind a slightly less developed infrastructure, the Philippines could be your paradise. The easier visa options and potentially lower cost of living might outweigh the other factors for some retirees. So, which tropical paradise will you choose for your golden years? As we've seen, both Thailand and the Philippines offer unique advantages. Thailand shines with its superior healthcare, developed infrastructure, and world-renowned cuisine. The Philippines boasts easier communication, lower costs, and thousands of pristine beaches. Ultimately, the best choice depends on your personal priorities and lifestyle. Reflect on what matters most to you in retirement. Is it top-notch healthcare, affordable living, ease of making friends, or perhaps the allure of island-hopping adventures? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear which country you're leaning towards and why. And if you enjoyed this comparison, don't forget to like and subscribe. For more intriguing insights, check out our recent video on Thailand's hidden paradise where women welcome men. Your next adventure awaits.